published, 1849 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 27th of March 2019, updated, 1849 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 27th of March 2019 She has center stage on The Mummy Diaries due to her dramatic flair and Nellie Shepard was notably absent from the most recent episode of the hit reality show, as her fans demanded to know why she didn't appear. During Wednesday's program viewers took to Twitter to question why the hilarious daughter of Greg and Billy Shepard was missing from the episode. Where is she? Nellie Shepard was notably absent from the most recent episode of the hit reality show as her fans demanded to know why she didn't appear last week's show saw cheeky troublemaker Nellie, 4, throw an almighty tantrum as she was seen screaming at her cousin Paul, 4, scaring the squirrels, however this week's show was missing Nellie's hilarious highlights and viewers weren't impressed with her absence. One Twitter user directly tweeted Billy to ask where Nellie was, writing, where was Nellie tonight? Certainly missed that cheeky princess. Fantastic episode as always though. That Nellie gets her own show, as another viewer tweeted Billy and Sam to tell them that the little girl makes her belly laugh cheeky. The last week's show saw cheeky troublemaker Nellie, 4, throw an almighty tantrum as she was seen screaming at her cousin Paul, 4, scaring the squirrels during the Nellie Less show. Billy and her personal assistant touch base on the gift packages that they are providing for her 96 wedding guests, which included flip-flops, sun cream and matching swimwear for the page boys and flower girls. Personal hats had also been made for everyone, but Billy was concerned that sun cream and any plastics can't be shipped out and need to be packed on the plane. Billy admitted that the family were taking 10 suitcases out to the Maldives, and she even asked now husband Greg Shepard whether they should ask for more excess baggage. Not happy, however this week's show was missing Nellie's hilarious highlights and viewers weren't impressed with their absence gasps. Sue tried on her mother of the bride dress for the first time and her daughters loved Ida ahead of the wedding, Sue tried her mother of the bride dress for the first time, as she, Billy, Sam headed to a bridal fitting shop. Although Billy said it was, all about her mum's dress, she admitted that she is still having the odd look about for her own dress. During a discussion about Sue's outfit, Sam said, I feel like mother of the bride has evolved, Billy agreed with her sister, adding, it's good to be a bit daring, the shimmer of the sunset is really important I wanted her to have beating in it, happy, Billy gave her mother a big cuddle after she found the perfect number wow thing, Sue looked absolutely stunning in the embellished number as Sue stepped out of the changing room the two sisters gasped as they gushed over how beautiful their mum looked wearing the stunning peach colored floor length gown. Sam told her mum she looked like a princess before correcting herself to say, or should I say queen, as they commented that it was the nicest dress they had ever seen her in. Billy and Sam then headed to a personal training session, as they admitted that the impending ceremony has given them reason to train. During the gym session Sam and Billy opened up about the effects of online bullying and admitted that they feel like they can't w and Shaping up, ahead of the wedding, Billy and Sam headed to a personal training session, as they admitted that the impending ceremony has given them reason to train during the chat about getting in shape for Billy's impending nuptials. Sam said that she was keen to burn fat before telling Billy that she was so slim at the moment. Billy admitted she does have a pouch that she wants to tone following the births of her two children Nellie, 4, and Arthur, 2. However Sam joked that she thinks it may well be the glasses of Prosecco Billy consumes as well as her evening nibbles. Can't W and Sam and Billy were enjoying a workout on their hit reality show when the topic of trolling came up and they admitted that they feel like they can't win. Their lighthearted chat soon took a more serious turn, as Sam referenced that fact that whatever weight she is she still receives backlash, she said, thing is though you just can't win, especially with us in our industry and the trolling on Instagram, you're a little bit overweight and you get fat shamed or you've got cellulite or something, as soon as you start losing weight it's like, oh you're too thin, Billy echoed Sam's thoughts and said that she also thought it was was ridiculous, before revealing that she was recently attacked by online bullies, saying, I posted a picture recently of me and Greg and I had a knitted dress on and it was really baggy and I pulled it around and held it wedding diet during a chat about getting in shape for Billy's impending nuptials, Sam said that she
was keen to burn fat before telling Billy that she was so slim. At the momentum replied, I knew just by looking at that picture you were standing side on and just looked tiny and then when everyone started commenting I just thought bore off. Billy then confessed that she never comments on anything but this time she felt the need to shut the trolls down, as she told Sam, I never comment on anything but I actually wrote a comment on that and said after years of taking photos I know how to get a good angle. Both sisters admitted that they can't imagine ever commenting something negative or nasty on another person's Instagram page. Billy echoed Sam's thoughts and said that she also thought it was ridiculous, before revealing that she was recently attacked by online bullies, saying, I posted a picture recently of me and Greg and I had a knitted dress on and it was really baggy and I pulled it around and held it. Hitting back, Billy then confessed that she never comments on anything but this time she felt the need to shut the trolls down. Billy said, I could just never imagine writing something on someone else's profile, sharing all their nice pictures and then finding it within you to write something nasty. I just don't get it. Sam said that she is still a human being who should be no different to anyone else, adding, it should be at a point now where it should stop. You should be able to post like everyone else. We are human beings at the end of the day. However Billy added that she doesn't let the comments get her down, saying, I don't really let the negative comments bother me, I think you grow another skin when you're in the public eye, you just have to let it go over your head. During the workout Billy joked that her pelvic floor muscles aren't what they used to be following the births of her children, as she dashed to the gym toilet, shocked, both sisters admitted that they can't imagine ever commenting something negative or nasty on another person's Instagram page. When she returned to the session, Billy confided that she is trying to stop Arthur from hitting people, revealing that she has begun to put him on the naughty step when he uses it as a defense. Billy also added that she is struggling with the idea of Arthur growing up and often picks him up to snuggle him still, which will cause Nellie to act out and say that her mum doesn't love her as much. As Billy retold the story to Sam, she admitted that her two kids need a lot of attention. Fashion, at Sam's home in Hertfordshire the family are headed to Bristol to shoot a promotional fashion shoot for their fashion brand at Sam's home in Hertfordshire the family were headed to Bristol to shoot a promotional fashion shoot for their fashion brand. Tension appeared to be rising slightly in the car as Sam's son Paul cried in the backseat as Sam and Big Paul made sure that they had everything they need. When Sam realized she has forgotten the baby wipes, she admitted that she she assumed they'd be in the bag before Paul responds, assumption is the mother of all f asterisk asterisk k ups. When Sam arrived she also realizes she had has forgotten the jewelry box for the shoot, meaning that they had no accessories for the shots. When Sam realized she has forgotten the baby wipes, she admitted that she she assumed they'd be in the bag before Paul responds, assumption is the mother of all f asterisk asterisk k upsism confessed that she does find it hard to pack everything for the day out which included everything for the shoot and the family day out. She was previously left unhappy after a whole shoot was organized for just 15 hours, however this time Sam was prepared to model a total of 40 ensembles. However Sam's shoot was interrupted by a man with a camera, who admitted that he didn't know who she was but wanted a photo because a girl over there said she was someone. What a joker, however Sam's shoot was interrupted by a man with a camera, who admitted that he didn't know who she was but wanted a photo because a girl over there said she was someone. And meanwhile, Greg and Arthur were on a boys day out, when Billy's stepdad Dave turned up for a chat about the stress between him and Billy ahead of the wedding. Greg said, what made her most upset was me asking if she has got everything done and she started saying her hair was falling out and I hate to see her like that. He sweetly added, I can't wait for her to become Mrs. Shepard. Dave added, it's not worth getting stressed, they're in love and have two lovely babies, lads and dads. Greg and Arthur were on a boys day out, when Billy's stepdad Dave turned up for a chat about the stress between him and Billy ahead of the wedding Dave said he and Sue have planned a speech for the wedding, but he confessed that he is struggling to get through it without crying. Her stepfather Dave, who they refer to as their father, could be seen breaking down in tears as he practiced his wedding speech, saying he doubted he would be able to get through it on the day, Sue could be seen supporting Dave as he practiced his words while he broke down in tears, sweet, Dave broke down while practicing his wedding speech he said, first of all, what an honor I've had today, giving Billy away. 
and I could not think of anyone better, than overcome with emotion, he said, I won't be able to do it before Sue reassures him that he can, he continued, Billy as a young girl had spirit, willpower, humor. Now she has grown into the most beautiful, loving, hard-working, funny young lady, most of all, she is a fantastic mother to Nellie and Arthur. Love you both. That will do me, love, Dave seemed unable to gather his emotions as he spoke about his daughter talking to the camera, he admitted he is, a softy, and, really, emotional, adding that, when he thinks of Billy, he gets a lump in his throat, although Billy's wedding was held in the Maldives, just weeks before Sam and her family jetted out to the luxury islands in order to, relax, little Paul was told he can only take a small bag of toys, despite him telling his mum that he would like to take them all with him on holiday. Sam and Paul packed his new swim shorts together as she showed him her new buys for him to wear, and she said it was the first time they had packed together. Adorable, Sam and Paul packed his new swim shorts together as she showed him her new buys for him to wear, and she said it was the first time they had packed. Together Paul proved very helpful as he took his mum's new clothes off her and put them into the open case, while larking around in a selection of her designer shades. Sam joked, it's safe to say little Paul needs a little practice when it comes to packing neatly. After landing in the Maldives Sam reveals that they have been joined by Nanny Gaynor, with her mum Sue joining them later in the week. The place holds a special place in their heart as Sam and Paul spent their baby moon there before their birth of their firstborn Paul. Pals, Sam sweetly revealed that she feels like Gaynor feels like her mate, as they enjoy a scuba diving trip as part of Gaynor's initiative to live on the wild side part of the celebrations were for Gaynor's 60th birthday, and she announced that she planned to be more adventurous as she approaches her seventh decade. Sam sweetly revealed that she feels like Gaynor feels like her mate, as they enjoy a scuba diving trip as part of Gaynor's initiative to live on the wild side. Back in Essex, Billy enjoyed some one-on-one -on -one time with Arthur as she took him to the soft play in a bid to let him run off some steam. The tot, too, ran along playing with toys and hitting other children along the way, with Billy gently telling him off for his behavior, he's such a little boy, Billy said sweetly to the cameras, cheer up, back in Essex, Billy enjoyed some one-on-one -on -one time with Arthur, as she took him to the soft play in a bid to let him run off some steam as he took a sip from his drink, Billy, who is also a mother to Nilly, flinched as she thought Arthur was going to hit her. Billy said, I thought he was going to hit me then. I am hoping this is just a phase and he will grow out of it. Earlier in the show, Billy's sister Sam said, You're not worried about the hitting are you? Billy said of the hitting, I think he's just probably built up a little bit of a defense mechanism from being a younger brother to Nelly. Billy said, I think he's just probably built up a little bit of a defense mechanism from being a younger brother to Nelly. Sam said, Nelly's not your average big sister. Billy added, Sometimes I pick Arthur up and I feel like he's getting out of that real baby stage. I'm like, ah, my little chubby bunny, and Nellie will go, you don't do that to me. You don't love me, her boy, Arthur could be seen hitting the other children at nursery as he played with toys, but Billy said she was sure it was just a phase. Billy added, sometimes I pick Arthur up and I feel like he's getting out of that real baby stage. I'm like, ah, my little chubby bunny is a surprise for the kids who arrived by water play into the island, the two elated children beamed as they realized that their nanny had come to stay with them as part of Sam's 28th birthday celebrations. As Sam sat down to read her birthday cards she appeared emotional as she began to tear up, admitting that the nice words mean so much more than any present she could afford. She read a sweet card from her two children before opening a card from Gaynor, who said she would cherish their dive together and referred to her as her precious girl. Emotional, as Sam sat down to read her birthday cards she appears emotional as she begins to tear up, admitting that the nice words mean so much more than any present she could afford. Precious girl, she read a sweet card from her two children before opening a card from Gaynor, who said she would cherish their dive together and referred to her as her precious girl however it was her sister Billy who tugged on her heartstrings the most as Sam admitted she found it hard being so far away from her sister on her birthday Sam reassured her family that the card wasn't sad but said it was lovely to hear the nice words from her big sister inside the card Elsewhere, Billy told Greg that she has ordered Arthur at Nutty Matt to put him on when he acts out and needs some time out 
time out elsewhere. Billy told Greg that she has ordered Arthur at Nutty Matt to put him on when he acts out and needs some time out in agreement. Although Greg initially disagreed that he doesn't feel comfortable whipping out the blue mat in a restaurant, he does eventually agree to give it a go. Though Greg initially disagreed that he doesn't feel comfortable whipping out the blue mat in a restaurant, he does eventually agree to give it a go. Back in the Maldives to celebrate Sam's birthday, Paul organized a romantic birthday dinner just the two of them as Sue and Gaynor were on babysitting duties. Sam and Paul hopped on a boat across to a secluded island where they were due to spend the evening in an incredible beach bubble tent. Sam said that she was excited to spend the evening relaxing with her partner, which she admitted was something she and Paul rarely get to do. She also addressed the rumors that she is engaged to her beau after she hit the headlines by sharing a picture where she hid her ring finger in a snap from their evening together. Wow, Sam and Paul hopped on a boat across to a secluded island where they were due to spend the evening in an incredible beach bubble tent.